Hello, and welcome to our lightning talk, Galaxy Cloud Store Integration, linking national resources for secure data transfer between services. My name is Gareth Price, and I'm presenting on behalf of Nguyen, Michael, and Frankie. A little bit of background, Galaxy Australia is an analysis platform, and that's how we pitch ourselves to our clientele. We hold active analyses for 365 days and any full history that is older than 365 days, we work with the users to have that purged from our system. So users do have a need uh, to retain long-term data. We could ask them to repeat their data analysis all the time, but that is a little bit inefficient for everyone. And so that has put our servers under a little bit of pressure to, to continually store data. We're seeing our users are producing larger and larger data set sizes. We want to be able to provide long-term storage in a secure manner and enable that reproducible analysis that's so important for Galaxy. Enter Arnet, Australia's academic and research network. Arnet is nationally resourced, provides ultra high speed internet and communication services. It is incidentally the founder of Australians Internet and it is primarily for the use of universities and organisations with a research and educational mission. It is high speed, low latency network infrastructure and Arnet provides an expanding portfolio of products and services. And the one we're going to talk about now is Cloud Store. And Cloud Store is the Dropbox for academia. It's based on a customized own cloud deployment by Arnet. It's web dab, web dab accessible. And any individual researcher who logs into Arnet through uh, an authentication system, it's in Australia, that's AAF, gets access to one terabyte of uh, provided storage, free for the user, nationally funded. They have access to group drives for maintaining larger complex series of data in a group interaction level. And it is a quick and easy secure file transfer mechanism with no file size restrictions. Shown on the right hand side is uh, the web portal uh, as, as Cloud Store. So we set about, and new and primarily was the driver of this architectural change to enable users to be able to bring data in from their Cloud Store repository or send data back to their Cloud Store repository. Uh, this was achieved through user preferences in Galaxy where uh, one spends time at Cloud Store and authorizes uh, Galaxy as a Cloud Store interaction, provides that information in the own Cloud slash Cloud Store credentials. Once that's been enabled, uh, your file structure goes from uh, shown in step two here, no cloud store has been provided. Just step three, a cached version of your folder structure where you can simply select files and import them into the service. Uh, in true Galaxy fashion, you can import uh, single files and multiple files, and you can choose single or multiple target directories to do that, all coming into your in individual history. So the current status of this, uh, well, the changes have been contributed back upstream into the larger Galaxy code base, and we're really thrilled with that. Uh, we're encouraging our users and seeing users move their data completed history items and individual files to Cloud Store, which can then of course be re-imported back to Galaxy at any point they want. It's secure with that passwords generated by Cloud Store that could be revoked by the user at any time. And uh, those passwords are stored encrypted in the Galaxy profile. They're not visible, they're not visible in the history. So it, we believe it's a secure mechanism and we're really thrilled to be able to offer this to our researchers for their ongoing data management needs. Thank you for listening. <laughs>